Well, hello again, Internet. Corinne here, and you're watching Corinne vs. Home Decor. I just spent the last month designing the galaxy witch room of my dreams, and I'm finally ready to show you what it looks like. So let's get started, shall we? So this room has actually been many different things. Originally, I thought it was gonna be a craft space, but we didn't really use it for that. And then we had our gym equipment in here, but then decided to put all of that in the tiny house. So slowly the room literally became the cat's room. We don't have children, but we have cats and they have their own room. Adulting. I also have a bunch of weird cat art, so it works out kinda. But we're thinking we wanna turn this more into an office slash cat room. The first thing that needs to happen is everything needs to be boxed up and taken out of this room because we're gonna paint. I can start moving all this downstairs. Yeah, that would be great because it's blocking entryway to all of this shit. Welcome to our fucking house. <laughs> it was very poorly organized. I'm gonna create a new space where that stuff can go. Yeah, I can tell you a new space where it can go. Wow, someone's on point today. On this point, I don't even know what is in these things anymore. Like an old camera and some stickers. Super good use of space. Gotta figure it all out. We gotta get rid of this thing. I feel yeah. really bad though because the cat likes it a lot. Can we put it outside? Yeah. Why are you showing off for the camera? <laughs> like, I love my tree house. Don't get rid of it. I need it. Right? God damn it. Now I have to keep this thing forever. And it takes up a lot of floor space. So I'm basically gonna have to design the whole room around this thing. We also still need a place to put equipment and random type office stuff that we need upstairs. So I'm gonna have to keep a few of these Ikea lockers in here as well. Maybe we can spiff them up a little bit though. Yeah, all this organizing and moving of stuff took a full day. Now we gotta go get all our paint supplies. I just love shopping on Saturdays. Paint is a pretty pivotal part of this project though, so I'm gonna have to suck it up. At least I'm going to one of my favorite stores. I am a little nervous because this paint color is super dark, but I have a vision. It's gonna be really cool. I think the hardest part about painting is the actual preparation for the painting. You gotta lay down drop cloths. You gotta tape off all the areas you don't want paint on. You gotta put on a little suit so you don't get paint all over yourself. It's a lot. Also, painting a dark color is really hard because you're gonna see little spots of white underneath your dark color. Very difficult to get an even coat so no white shows through on the walls. Right now, I'm really hating this process. This is real hard work, y'all. Strike what I said before. The hardest part about painting a room is everything. <laughs> All right, I think it looks pretty good. Gonna have to because I literally have no more patience to do any more painting. After a full day of letting it dry, we're ready to put on some light switch covers. Yes! These are cool, right? Look at the gold. They really pop against this dark blue color, don't they? Yes, queen. And guess what else came in? My star decals. Yes, we're putting stars and constellations on the ceiling. This idea is actually inspired by a couple different places. One being Grand Central Station in New York City. I love that ceiling. And the other being this store in Harry Potter Land. It's so cool. I just want to live in this store. Yeah. Can we get one of these? I need that. Not only did we visit my favorite store on that trip, but we also got to meet Jess and Allie, who just got married, and Allie has a Threadbanger logo tattooed on her leg. Holy crap! Congratulations, Jess and Allie. We love you. All right, back to business. Oh wait, what does this say? I have to wait at least 30 days after painting a room before adding the decals. Let's move on to the shelves then, shall we? So for the shelf area, I wanted to do something a little different. I love weird wallpapers, and I really feel like they can make certain areas pop, but I feel like they need to be used sparingly. We've all seen grandma's bad wallpaper before. Nobody wants that. I just don't understand the dust and the bows. So we're gonna put a wallpaper on the back wall and we're gonna paint the actual shelf black because the white is not working. So what I'm doing is a layer of matte black paint and then topping that with a layer of glossy paint. I feel like this will hold up better to wear and tear. I don't hate it. Yeah, these already look way better. This next step is the real exciting step though. See the gold? Yeah, this is classy sh right here. And all I'm gonna do is measure out some pieces and stick them right on the wall. If only it were that easy. 
The problem I had is that I only measured one of these spaces because I thought they would all be exactly the same, but that wasn't the case. So some of these don't really fit in here perfectly, but that's okay, we're still gonna do it. I'm not gonna waste this wallpaper. So basically what you're supposed to do is spray the back of the wallpaper with some water to activate the glue, and then fold the two ends in and let it sit for two to three minutes. This honestly didn't seem to work out that well for me. After the two to three minutes, it was way too dry and I had to wet it again. And the first try really was quite difficult. I was afraid it was not going to stick up here. I kept having to add water and really sponge it in there with a wet sponge. And eventually I have something that I think will stick around for some time. I feel like with these things, the first go is always gonna be really difficult because you gotta figure out all your problems. And then tries two and three go much easier. Someone came to my door during this process, and guess what? I ain't answering. I got my hands full here, buddy. Let's be honest though, I never answer my door. All right, yeah, I mean, I think this looks pretty good. I'm not a professional wallpaper person, okay? Now, in regards to the shelves and adding the stuff to them, I don't know what it is, but this is really hard for me. It straight up took me like five days to get this configuration of stuff on these shelves. I have moved these things around on these shelves many, many, many times. I've stared and looked at it for many, many, many minutes. Anyway, doesn't it look good though? Just say yes. And because I was trying to go for the Wise Acres storefront look, I ordered myself a mini gold telescope. I also really felt like I needed one of those constellation circle thingies. I'll probably just keep moving this shit around forever until the end of time. Okay, all that shit took me about a month, so guess what? It's time to hang your star decals. As with everything else I've done so far, I thought this was gonna be a lot easier than it is. I followed all the directions, but the nature of how these constellations are configured, no fault to the person who made them, by the way, it's just a little difficult to figure out the best method for putting these on the ceiling. And like an idiot, the first one I hang up, I put right over some bump in the ceiling. So you wanna make sure not to do that. The first one took me a pretty long time to hang up too. And by the time I got to the second one, I was a little impatient and I may or may not have ruined that one. This is what happens when you don't take your time. We lost a constellation. I'm not really sure whose sign that was. You gotta sign off now. Sorry. Yeah, my advice for these is to not get impatient and to take your time. I have to say, it's a little bit difficult to keep your cool when you're trying to put a decal on a ceiling. It's quite the arm workout. But I also feel like Michelangelo. I got some Sistine Chapel vibes going on right now, so that really was the driving force that cut me through to this point. And to be honest, I don't recognize all of these constellations, so it's not only decor, but it's educational decor. Educor, if you will. By the way, the individual stars are much easier to hang up. You just slap those puppies up there but I am really starting to get tired of this so we're gonna move on to something else oh artwork not an easy thing to decide what to hang on your walls the most important piece of art I want to hang though is this beautiful Hermes scarf that I bought while shopping a little tipsy in Vegas one time this is probably the only thing I'll ever buy from an Hermes store. This scarf is actually what lured me into the store in the first place. The way they had it displayed was just so beautiful. And I was like, I'm gonna put this on my wall one day. I thought about wearing it a couple times, but I was just too nervous to mess it up. And there's a few ways you can hang it. Hermes actually sells these little pegs that you can use to display your scarves with, but I don't like how it's not protected against dust. And then I found this DIY that shows you how to put it in between two pieces of plexiglass using signed standoff pegs. So guess what? We're gonna try to DIY this ourselves. I ordered two pieces of plexiglass that were cut to size for me, 40 inches by 40 inches, and that alone cost about $200. Yeah, so basically all I gotta do is measure where the holes need to go and then drill some holes in the plexiglass. I read some tips that it's important to tape where you plan to drill so you don't crack the plexiglass. And I decided to drill both pieces at the same time to save time. And guess what? This didn't save me any time because I fucking broke it. This is like a hundred dollar piece of plexiglass. And I tried to fix it with some glue and that didn't work either. It just made me more pissed off. I think she just gave up. 
So until I have time to order more plexiglass, we're just gonna have to use this one piece. Oh, and by the way, what you're gonna wanna do is tape both sides of the plexiglass with some tape before you drill. This isn't a drill, people. This isn't a drill. Yeah, okay, so I got my holes drilled. Great. Now I just have to iron the scarf and then affix it to the plexiglass with some double-sided tape. This can take a little bit of time too because you need to make sure it's perfect. No, you need to make sure it's perfect, Corinne. You're damn right I do. <laughs> I'm getting the crazy laugh now. All right, now I just have to hold it up against the wall and figure out where I need to drill the holes to put my standoff sign peg. You really have to make sure to get this right because otherwise you're not gonna be able to affix the plexiglass to them. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good. You ready for it? I guess so. Wow, it's a... It's a wand holder. It's wonderful! Oh, wow. Will you hang it up for me? And the shelf. You hang the shelf for me too? And then I need... Wait, I need your help. Don't go anywhere. Yes. Looks cute. Rob did not help me hang it, by the way. I wonder which wand will be first. Maybe Luna Lovegood's wand? A true Ravenclaw. I got 10 house points for the first person who can guess all of these wands correctly. Time to put together some furniture. I've been really wanting a glass top table for a long time, so that's what I got for the desk. And it was pretty easy to put together. Unfortunately, this rug is not gonna work in here anymore. Oh, and I also decided that I hate these cabinets white and I wanna add gold leaf to the front of them. Yeah, why not add another ridiculous project to the mix? So I got myself some gold leaf size. This is the glue that holds it all together. And some sheets of gold leaf. First thing you wanna do is add your size to whatever you plan to gold leaf and let it dry for like 15 minutes. Then you just very carefully start adding some gold leaf. Yeah, instantly regretting this project. And again, same as the wallpaper, I feel like this project has a little bit of a learning curve and you figure it out a little bit better as you continue on with the project. Yeah, gold leafing the front of all of these took me about three hours. So just keep that in mind when you start a gold leafing project. It's also a huge mess, so <laughs> you're definitely not gonna wanna do that on top of a brand new rug. And yeah, this is definitely a lot lighter of a purple than what was advertised on the website that I ordered it from, but that's okay, we're gonna make it work. All right, I can see the finish line from here. So yeah, all we have to do now is add a little bit more furniture, some final decor touches here and there, voila! Welcome to my new galaxy witch room, yeah! Which galaxy is it? I don't know. It's really hard to tell how far you've come until you look at the before and afters. So here's the before and the after. Before and after. Yeah, this took me a long ass time, but I'm happy with the result. Woo! This was a lot of work and I did it all by myself. Those HGTV people have a whole crew of people when they do this kind of stuff. No wonder they can get it done in a couple days. I am so happy with how it turned out. I know a lot of you out there are probably like, I would never do that to a room in my house. But the rest of my house is pretty subdued and I wanted something colorful and inspiring and I think I pulled that off. Thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and if you haven't become a member yet, hit that join button. I have a special behind the scenes tour going on there right now. And until next time, bye bye